35 musicians from the Armed Forces School of Music played the MacArthur Symphony for the first time. The work is conducted by Russell Stanger, a well-known maestro in his own right as conductor laureate of the Virginia Philharmonic. The symphony is as unusual as the man it was written for. Its composer took segments of General MacArthur's famous speeches and incorporated them into the work. We have known the bitterness of defeat and the exultation of triumph. And from both we have learned there can be no turning back. It took composer Mark Kampaus six months to write the piece, which he says was a labor of love. A lot of people think, well, he's a soldier. A lot more there than just a fine soldier, a great humanitarian, uh, a brilliant man. And how did Kampaus choose which speeches of MacArthur's to use? Sometimes the words take priority over the music. Sometimes the music takes priority over the words. There's a, a great deal of interplay between the text and the music. The symphony is written in three parts. And the first section is meant to suggest the introduction, is meant to suggest the solemnity of the surrender ceremonies on the Missouri that day in Tokyo Bay. I came through and I shall return. Penny Williams, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Virginia Beach.